All right, I'm gonna try to hit that airplane with this golf ball. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, this one's for you. When we said we were gonna play this Jersey Shore Tour, so many of you DM'd us and said, you gotta play Scotland Run. So today, we are at Scotland Run. This place is beautiful, and wait till you see some of the features out here. You may notice the T markers are airplanes. That's because there's actually an airplane on the golf course. That's right, an airplane. We're gonna take a look at that when we hit that hole, but there is so much to see here. So I'll tell you what, let's jump off this first tee and take you guys through it. All right, most courses don't start you off with a par five, huh? Yeah, so they start you off with a par five here. Another thing that I like to see, we saw this at Pound Ridge, Mike. The tee boxes are labeled for your handicap to make sure you play the right one. So we're playing the blues today. They kick you off with a par five. I've got about 235 left here. Okay, go zone. So you're off the right side of the Right a little bit, okay. I don't know, man, the par five on first hole is a different feel. You know, not hitting the range, not warming up, going driver three wood right out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> Might be in the trap right in front of the green, or I got lucky, bounced over, and got on. We'll see. That's yeah, that's an up and down for you. That's how to start. Woo! Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. It's so pretty. <laughs> That's cart golf for you right there. How beautiful is that? Yeah, perfect cart golf. Your draw got me by a yard, <laughs> which is perfect. All right, we're looking at uh, back pin 180 number. I'm going to play a middle number, 175. Let's go seven iron. Oh. Ooh, tough kick. That was the right yardage. I just didn't bring it back. I know Frank well. He's going six iron. Is that right? Yep. Yeah, I left it out there with you. Yep. All right, we're both gonna be- We're gonna be chipping, both of us. Playing this hole together, huh? Yeah. So this place is super new to us. It's the first time playing it. Like I said, playing it largely off of just word of mouth. You know, when you're in this area, a lot of people say you've gotta play Scotland Run. And like I said, the DMs, you guys were in there saying, put this one on the list. So, you know, a lot of this stuff is gonna be new to us today, but I'm already seeing there's a lot of ways you can get in trouble out here, whether it be that fist fescue that's just off the fairway, it's grown in thick and deep. Uh, even the rough itself is heavy. And as you said, as we said before, just wait till you see some of the features out here, the bunkering, the waste areas. There's a lot of challenge here at this course, that's for sure. All right, I had to do a little bit of thinking on this tee box because although it's short at only 300 yards, this hole, this green here, which is to the right, is protected by a tree line. So unless you can curve it around those trees, you're gonna wanna hit something to the left side of the fairway to give yourself a look. There's also a deep pot bunker there that's pretty, pretty nasty. You wanna stay out of that as well. So I left myself about a 130 yard shot here, got it just far enough where I can take a little bit of those trees out of play and give myself a look at this green. Just how I drew it up, baby. All right, Mike, you went driver here. You ended up with a window. Do you have a window? Get through that tree. You better help me. Help oh, me yeah. Lot. That tree helped me a lot. <laughs> yeah. yes. Let's go. Birdie putts, let's Ooh. go. Two totally different ways to play the hole. Two birdie putts. I know. How great is that? More than one way to play golf. Roll it, roll it, roll it. The end, it just cut. Ugh. Break. <coughs> Didn't break like I thought it would. No. All right. All right, good pars. All right, guys, if you watched our Hamilton Farm video, you know we were playing for, if either one of us makes a hole in one, we give one lucky subscriber a thousand bucks. We didn't make it that day, but we're carrying it over. Could this be the one? Let's pay some people. Come on, Frank. Oh, catch that green. That's not a hole in one, but I like it. Darn good, man, look at that. Finish. Oh, Back in the break that <laughs> He wanted it. Okay. All right. Another uh, long par four here. 450 yards. 
straight out, but as we've said before, trouble anywhere you look. All left is gonna be fescue. The tree line right is a huge fairway bunker that you're gonna have to carry, either carry it. It's so long, you can't go short enough to take it out of play, really. You either gotta carry it or you gotta play to the left and keep it in that fairway, but it really challenged you on the tee shots here. Oh, dude, I got my hips through and look what happened. There we go. The one good one out bunker. there. Come on. Yeah, you're gonna clear that. Yep. Yep. Oh, just can't quite will it home. All right, go zone. Rally cap. Rally caps on drivable par fours from now on? That's it. Okay. Look, I'm starting to trend. Ah, sorry, I thought I had the right line. Yeah. Better not hurt. If you're in fairway right. Fairway right. Safe zone. Yeah. Yeah. What a line that is. Get up. Brilliant shot. Look at this, folks. That's how I play this hole. That's it, man. All right, we got our Texas Wedge champion and a master at work here. Oh, I like these ones, these bendable ones here. Ooh. Slow me down at the end. Yeah, it did. Oh, I, I put that right where I read it. I thought that would read just a little bit down. Yeah. 30 still eludes us. Yeah, it does. All right, walking up to the seventh tee box here, and what this immediately reminds me of with this waste area with the tufts of, uh, of fescue there immediately reminds me visually of Pinehurst, which reminds me, if you guys didn't get a chance to check out the Pinehurst series, go back and check that out. There's another fun travel series that we had a lot of fun filming, and what a place that is. But this course, it continues to challenge us. You've gotta be able to move the ball in both directions, really, because we've had tee shots that work right, and now we've got a tee shot that works left. So it really depends on how aggressive you wanna get on this left side, trying to cut some of that waste area and that tree line off. Best drive I've hit on this entire series. All right, best drive of your life here. Honestly, I can't ask for anything more than that. But this is what I mean off that tee box. You can try to bite off a little bit of that left side, which I did. Leaves me only 50 yards here. That's gonna be great. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Got the thumbs up from there. Drone guy Zach, so I like that. I like that. All right, we're on the seventh hole here. Eventually, guys, we got to drain a birdie, right? Well, at least we got two shots at it right now. Two birdie putts coming right up. Come on, Bravey, break a little bit. Yeah, there it is. There's yeah. that break. Just not left enough. Another par, though. Yeah, it's two good pars here. Turn, baby, turn. Could be good. Yeah. Yeah. Come on, let's go. Make some birdies. All right, this is a birdie putt I feel like I can make. Wow, I really stuck that pitching wedge. Wow, that's pin high and that is beautiful. Guys, Scotland run so far, eight holes in. Loving it so far. It's a little bit of a drive. Uh, it's a little bit further than the other courses we played. We're staying in Brigantine, New Jersey, right outside Atlantic City. So this one is about a 50 minute drive, but worth it. Worth it, scorable, pretty. It's got a little bit of everything here. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ooh. Don't turn to the end, I gotta hit the ball a little bit. A little bit. You got a long par three, I got 202 to the middle from here. Yeah, 217 back, looks like there's a lot of room. I'm gonna hit a nice soft four iron here, I think that's the play. Oh man, I like the line, it is at the flag. Go in the hole, Oh my. go in the hole. It could go in the hole, that could go in the that hole. That could go in the that hole. That could go in the hole. Wow, we're gonna see. Moment of truth. Still don't see it, only see one ball still. Oh man, can this car go any faster? Oh! Oh, it's tight though. Ah, oh, so close. 
Let me show you guys the result. Look at that. Oh, oh dude, <laughs> come on. This is insane. I think we finally got our birdie. Good birdie. Thanks, man. All right, we're kicking off the back nine the same way we kicked off the front nine with another par five, just under 500 yards from these blue tees. And to my left is that pit of despair we talked about earlier. Let's stay way away from that, all right? Yeah, yeah. Right in front of this green, there is something I have never seen on a golf course ever. It is some type of wall. <laughs> it's a scary looking wall, which protects that elevated green. So if you come up short, the reason I'm bringing this up, you come up short, uh, you just gotta flop it over it. Yeah, you gotta flop it over it. So I don't know, we're hoping to get this thing high up in the air, get it up there. If not, the next scene of this video may be a little dicey. <laughs> Stay tuned, here we go. Go, 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 go. Oh. <laughs> and I hit the wall. <sighs> the dreaded wall. Roll that Pink Floyd music. All right, I hit the dreaded wall. Yeah, you know what? No guts, That's no kiss. glory. It's gonna make for a fun third shot, but we'll get there next. You, come on. Going for it too, man. Let's do it. We're both going for it here. Get over, get, get. I'm short of it too. Oh, we're both gonna have hey, some we'll fun. Have two interesting bunker Come on, shots. Let's go have fun. <laughs> so this is why probably a smart play would have been to lay up short of this thing and it would make up for a very easy little wedge shot, but we wanted to stretch it. And here's what we got. Mike's right there. I'm over here. We got some difficult shots. And these shots are gonna be deadly because you you skull it, man. It's coming right back Dude, at I'm you. I'm nervous about that. It's coming right back at you. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard. Did you see me wince because I thought it was going to hit that thing and come back at me? Woo! Hey, it's up there by the green somewhere. That's all I can ask for. Go in the hole. Go in the hole. One time. Oh, good try. <sighs> Love where they put the blue tee boxes down here for this 200-yard uh, par three. All the other tee boxes are up there. We got a special look from over here. Oh, look yeah, at this yeah. thing, Mike. Look at Mike. that. Look at this. Massive deep bunker protecting that, that pin. This is gonna be a tough shot. 200 yards. Wow, it's pretty. We can ripe it safe. Yeah, it should be on for a long, long putt. Oh yeah. What are you hitting that same four iron from a couple of holes ago? Same magic four iron. That's the magic one. Let's go. Let's do it again. Oh yeah. It's working right. Come on, give me a kick. Yeah. Got yeah. a nice right kick. See if it ran towards the hole. Shorter par four here, plays only about 300 yards, and it is tight. Lots of bunkering up there. I'm gonna try to take all that out of play and hit a hybrid here. No need to, I, I can't reach the screen, no need to bring all that trouble into play. It's a smart play. All right, everything Frank just said, I'm doing the opposite. Dead straight left. And that's that's in the street. All right, so that's all I wanted to do there. Hit this tiny little fairway somewhere and leave myself a wedge. I got about a 110, 115 shot here. Go, go ball. Gotta go though, gotta go. All right, the good news is Mike says he found his ball here. Oh man. Impossible. Not today, they're not dropping. Nope, not today. Not today. All right, another par three here, but it's not long. It's gonna be about 158 yards. I'm gonna go grab the old eight iron and give it a whack. Can be pin high. Yep. Pin high putt. All right, birdie putt. Let's see if we can drain it. All right, before we tee off here on 16, I think we dip down there. Let's take some shots at this You thing. want to go take a couple of yeah. cracks at that? Let's go. When else do you get a chance to take shots at an airplane? I know, come right? on. I'm going to try to hit that airplane with this golf ball. Oh. 
Woo, right over it. <laughs> Here, give me one crack at it. <laughs> All right, that was a fun little detour. We had to go down there and take a couple cracks at it. We're gonna quickly finish up, play this hole. I wanna take you over to 18 as soon as possible because it is a beauty. Um, just, just hold on a second to see that one. All right, guys, so this is the 18th hole that I wanted you to see, and I think it's so interesting. We talked about they start you off on the first hole with a par five, but they also finish you with a par five here on 18. We've got 500 yard par five, so much trouble right. Like I said before, that pit of despair. You're gonna wanna stay out of that. You're Really, I think this is the smart play. Just keep it to a three shot hole and just follow that winding fairway down towards the clubhouse. But it is a difficult hole to finish on, but it is also a pretty hole. We've got some water here on the right as well. You ready for 18? I'm ready for it, man. It's been a heck of a week. Can you believe this is the last haul of the Jersey Shore Tour? I can't believe it, man. What an epic trip. What a trip. What an epic trip. And guys, thanks for tuning in to the episodes. And if this is your first episode, go back and watch the rest of them. Because the course we played this week, awesome. All right, your tee box. All right, let's do it. There it is. Great shot, man. All right, like I said, got places as a three shot hole, just laid up to here. There was no point in trying to go for it. Hit a little layup shot over there. Just wanted this look, 150 out. Take all that trouble out of it. It's a pretty look, huh? It sure is. That's a beautiful shot, man. Wow. See the right distance. Whew. Wind got it a little bit. Okay. All right, guys. Do us a favor, smash that like button if you've been enjoying this Jersey Shore Tour series. We wanna do more of these travel series. And in fact, if you have an idea for another area that we need to travel where there's a lot of great golf and play, let us know in the comments because we wanna to put together more of these series. We have a lot of fun filming them. But let's finish up here on 18. All right guys, so like I said, we had a lot of fun doing this Jersey Shore Tour series. There is just so much great golf around the Atlantic City area, and that's was the whole purpose of this. We really wanted to get a chance to highlight that. Scotland Run, you guys said it, you guys said it in the DMs, we had to play it, and you guys were right. This course did not disappoint me. It's so much fun out here. Hope you guys enjoyed watching it. Make sure you check out the other videos in the series because we've played so many incredible golf courses while we're down here. But that's it from Scotland Run, what a course. Play it if you're down here, guys. We'll see you soon. <laughs>